and welcome. So you join me here where I am just loading up Toad War 3. And if you're deafened then, I apologise. I will turn it down a little bit now. Uh, I haven't gone through the settings. I will probably need to go through and reduce the sound. But this is literally me opening it. So I'm going to be quiet for a little bit. I apologise now. But yes. So yeah, what a start. So uh, yeah, I'm going to just quickly change the sound. Uh, let's turn that effects. All that, because yeah, I don't want to get banned really. Let's apply those changes. Ultra quality, best. And yeah, brightness. I don't mind that sort of brightness. It's not too bad for me. Colours, blah, 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 I don't really care for that. So, we are going to play the prologue. I have no clue what it's about. I'm assuming it's to do with the kids love God. Uh, and we will find. Your adventure begins. Ursa, the bear god of Kislev, is silent. Uh, without the great bear, beloved, the uh, motherland freezes and its people suffer. Beyond the Kislev prince sent north by the Ice Queen on the ultimate quest. The prologue to the Realm of Chaos campaign is a total war experience, perfect for brand new players and um, requiring a res uh, refresher course on the mechanics of the game. Engaged narrative experience leads to the story of the Realm of Chaos campaign. Uh, fight intense crafted battles against Warhammer uh, fanatical enemies. Learn the basics, advanced techniques, the blah. Travel across the chaos uh, waters, discover how to conquer and manage settlements, enable the diplomacy with your enemies and allies. So I'm not the best at these sort of games, but I do love playing them. Um, so we will see. Now that is such a cool. Like, here's the bear god, and here's chaos. My favourite. I'm sorry. I'm a Zinch player. I love chaos. Chaos reigns for me. I'm assuming there's going to be another cutscene at a second. But we will see. No, no. Oh, it's loaded. The Lost God.
So, yeah. We move north to the Chaos Wasteland. Yuri, you have led the kin through. Oh, I just read that. <laughs> so, I'm going to get 100 treasure. Sweet. So, moving around is the same. If I notice, I will uh, uh, display advisors. Yep, okay. Select the print. Go north. So, this shows you how my move. Cool. And this is the end turn payment. So mission. Journey north. Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. Just tells you that missions are here and it tells you what the mission is. Yep, done that, done that. That does that. Holding it moves it like that. I, I prefer WSD, it's what you use in most games. So, and then and go back, forward, left, right. Cool. Let's go north. Found supplies. Not that I see any. Yeah, treasure, okay. When the campaign map ends your turn, left click in the end turn button, yep. Can you hear this? Can you hear the spooky chaos? that as well cool. okay cool go to the settlement yep occupy So, going to upgrade. Yeah, that's fine. Takes time, it took a turn. Didn't really take time, did it? So now, so build a storehouse. Nice turn. Build a storehouse, well done. You increase the amount of income. So this is our income here. This is how much we have. So rescue the beacon. Select your Lord banner and the Kislev region and move north. So select him. Uh, move far as north as we can. Now doing this is pretty safe at the moment. So.
So, we can either save the innocent, go to Beacon, save the Kislevs, or whatever else, or punish. Hurry to punish the uh, tribal chief that is a threatened beat. I'm going to save the innocent. We are relatively good. Oh, I should have looked at that. So doing that gives us three extra seat, uh, leadership. What's well, cool? It stops people like running away. You should equip to the armor. Okay, what armor have we got? We have got Kislev armor. Okay, so let's. Uh, yeah, click it. Oh, okay, automatically. So, it's a spell of some sort. Really shouldn't do all that. Should go like half. And then half. Here is the beacon. Okay, let's go save ours. Oh, so it doesn't tell you, but yeah, so uh, this is what, what they've got. Trolls, grants, murderers, skeletons. So these are sort of a bit of a mixer, really. But the skeleton cannon, school cannon is a corn thing, definitely. And I've just got three. This should not go well, but it will go well because it's that type of game. So hopefully we will relatively do good here. Um, as again, not the best at the, um, total war. Do you know what really annoys me? The mouth stay out. See, double tapping goes really quick. Oh, school cannons. There you go. There's your corn guys. I can't show you. Norsemen. Okay. So what my allies got? See, there's also, yeah, hold space bar to see it. That's quite useful, actually. I'll, I'll never remember it. But yeah, holding and clicking with your right mouse, you can choose. Go on, just leave your archers just here. Just like batter them from here. Let's have a look. 
they do look quite cool. Oh, it's okay. We will come to save thee. So double clicking makes them go fast. So you just like. Move it. Halt. It's an attack command uh, by right clicking on the enemy. So literally right click on the enemy. I actually might get these guys. Let's get you. Let's go there. I'm splitting them. So one's going to go and attack the back of these guys. The other one's going to defend these to help with these archers. That's my thinking. You can just attack them on your own. So you do get that where they will be partly covered by something else. But that's fine. So there is a way. Do that. So you go. Hold space. Go there. Go there. Go there. Oh no. Hold. There. There. And then there. Yep. There you go. So holding control. You can do multiple attacks. So it means it will just attack them on the back. You. Uh, just go in there. Because now we're surrounded. The surrounding's always good. Oh, okay, that did really well, it did it. Let's go watch him. There you go. How are you guys doing? You're just sort of sitting there. Why don't you just attack? But no. Let's just sit here and get hammered. That's a sensible idea. Now there's got to be a way. I swear there was like a speed up thing, but I can't find it at the moment, so maybe that's a later on thing. Good. Units leadership level is measured by blah 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 blah. Basically, once your morale's gone you run. Good. So missile units. Missile units employed in the battle to stand back and from the action of fire projectiles. Yep. Cool. So but what I'm gonna do is get you two to sit here and then I'm, you hold control and you can control everything and you guys can go here. That should, yep. And then hold space, and that keeps them just enough away. So they are running. The cannons are defended. Yep. 
that is fine. So it's probably telling me exactly what to do. There we go. So that's what I've been doing. Drag and dropping. Hold space to show destinations. So you guys, you can also do it at the bottom here. Go. Well, you can go there. You can go there. No, you can go there then. You can go there. You're just going to tuck in the middle. Go back. So their artillery are now coming for us. Just come in. Go. What a cool little mechanic, they're just like exploding everywhere. So you see, they've still got this. I'll come out of it. You can see this. This is what they can attack. So that's them rooted. So, again, I'm going to have them in two different units. Go there. You. Oh, no. You. Go there. Got to mint them from behind. Attack their side. Ready.
So that's that unit gone. Okay, so that's our first battle. I'm actually going to pause it here uh, for this episode. We can rejoin it next time. So until then, I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please consider giving me a like and subscribe. It really does help. Uh, also, check out my link tree to find me in other places. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.